Right, hello and welcome to my channel. And in this video I will be explaining and showing how I have running three external filters. I have a 200 litre fluval Roma tank with obviously 11 discus in. So there was, there was uh, three options I had. Number one, which most people are saying, is upgrade my tank. Like to upgrade my tank to buy another the fluval I have arguments like the Roma 240 for an extra 40 litres or the Valencia which is 260 litres well I'll do over the Roma I'm not going too much into it is um I'm going to fork out realistically well just for the tank and the cabinet if we're talking 500 pounds which is a heck of a lot of money then I'd have the problem with this tank having to sell it and one thing or another if I had the uh, 240, it does. I could have one one of the filters runs. Excuse me, into the actual tank. They have the holes in the bottom and everything, and it would run in, and then I would have the two either side. But the second option would be just to upgrade. And if you want to get in there, would be just to upgrade my two filters to a stronger one. But the uh, well, I can say the 406s are 144, but the cheapest I can I found them on even on um, the internet was 130 pound roughly. So you're talking 260 pound. So I spoke to a maidenhead and everything, and one of the managers in there said that you can run three externals. I said, well, how you know sort of thing, and this is how he showed me how to do it. The option that I got the flu at a very good price. It's normally lots like of 144, but <clears throat> well, basically, let's start showing you everything. There is the 305, and there's the in and the outlet pipe in one cabinet. I know it's a little crampy, but there's the 406 running. To the middle bit, and at the back is my other 305, which is running to the other side. So, with the combined amount, that is a thousand liters of filtration. Um, and it was the cheapest option because I don't want to disrupt these guys with discus because they don't like big change and having running two tanks for probably a X amount of months. I don't know, I'm going to say exact amount before these guys go in and the problem I had once before when I moved two into this tank after six weeks I did lose one and I don't want to disrupt any behaviour they have in there because they're all happy and fine so less stress on them all round so I come to my top I have a towel at the back my reasons will be explained when I just take it off get rid of that little dinky thing Get rid of my digital thermostat. Might bear with me, I'll put the camera down. Right, so let's take this bit, flip it over for a minute. Obviously, this side, the bit's been broken off with the inlet and the outlet pipe, normal. Same this side, and then this bit, they do fit on very snugly. You've got a little bit of a edging bit down there it fits on fine there and there and they are quite secure with minimum movement the other thing he did tell me to do I didn't want to which is why I got the towel is to cut two strips into this I didn't want to because this is like acrylic it's to go cut down and then with a pair of pliers bend it to snap it um, I didn't want to deface these 
they um not greatly expensive I think 20 under 30 pounds or something rather for the two of them but I didn't want to deface the tank I'm going to say X amount of years later whether I did want to actually want to sell it so put that back the reason I didn't leave it like that with it all open at the back not because of the lighting on the wall was the simplest fact that my temperature started to drop about it's not much but one degree okay I could have marked the Booted up by turning the heaters up, but why use le more electricity when you don't need to? When all I had to put a towel on the back just to consume the or just keep the heat into the actual tank. Daddy. So um, Daddy. that was how I done the pipes. Daddy. He told me to um, have Daddy. the inlet pipe a little bit higher up. Daddy. Which is what I used originally on my um, 90 litre. Oh, little fish. My 90 litre. Obviously, I'm using the inlet pipe, inlet strainer from the 406. And he said, just dump the, the water. Yes, okay. Dump the water back into it. So it's just literally going in, and then in the actual middle, it is it will swirl round from the other two filters. But the problem I had with that is it was disturbing the substrate at the bottom, the sand. And then running at half mast or whatever that, he did say we would put a strain on the impeller. So I purchased for I think it was $1.99. I think it's to do with an, a pond airline T junction. So then the water is running at full whack but coming out both sides. The only slightest little bit I get is the air. it's just slightly pushing the air on that side of the air of the air going in the tank. So that is how I have managed to run it. They seem happy with it. It's, you know, it's more fresher water going in, um, and it's not no, hardly any disruption to them. And it's obviously getting more Daddy. liters of filtration. Daddy. Daddy. What I'm running in my filter, I have now Daddy. laid out for you guys. Daddy. The majority of it is Daddy. 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 biologically what I was saying in my review of the Daddy. 406 Daddy. is Micromec, JBL Daddy. Micromec. Daddy. And it Daddy. does, Daddy. in all the all the bits, all Daddy. the actual chambers it has Daddy. filled it. I've got two Daddy. of these running in the 406. Daddy. And it gets rid of your ammonia, nitrite Daddy. and nitrate. Daddy. Daddy. Which obviously I like these, and this is one lot that I had from because I change it yearly. What well, they actually look like the tiny little balls that break down the fur, the outer bits take break down the ammonia and the nitrate, and Daddy. there's something on the inside Daddy. that's supposed to, that breaks Daddy. down Daddy. the nitrate, and it comes in a little mash bag that you can put them in, wash them, and then dispose them into the, the actual bits of the filter. The other thing I actually use, in, only in the 305s, is um, as a biological filter, which I was explaining last time, Daddy. is coral gravel. Daddy. Daddy. And all Daddy. it does, Daddy. 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 all it does, Daddy. is just boost Daddy. the, Daddy. Not, the carbonate Daddy. hardness Daddy. in the water, Daddy. the KH. Daddy. 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 So I just run biological, not the same before, biological, biological stuff. Daddy. Daddy. Livy wants to be in part of the film. <laughs> Do you want to say hello, Liv? <laughs> I mean, what is very good with the filter, you do get... I'm trying to do one-handed here. Let me put the camera down a minute because I've got to undo the knot. Sorry about this, guys. Right, this is all the media that came with the 406, which I kept for the time being, but I don't know. These are supposed to be another biological foam. I was going to use it, but I thought by changing it frequently or every half yearly would I want to. I think, in my personal opinion, 
the Micromec is so much better. So, I don't know. I'll just leave it for the time being. I might try it out. What is good, you get the 406 or the Polar 2 polishing pads, which are very thin. I actually, I didn't bring it down. All I use is the um, same thing in the, in the um, 305s. Is a JBL, it's like uh, like a floss type thing, same similar sort of thing, but it's thinner, and you just cut it to what sort of size you want. I'll leave that running in there for a couple of weeks, then I take it out. The Biomax I have um, used, obviously, because it's a biological thing. I did use that that came with um, the 406, uh, and just dispensed that over the one, two, eight chambers. But you do get, like I said, so much of this carbon, which for me, I probably won't use. I've got, <laughs> I've got about six of these bags. One that I probably had in one of my filters for about a week when I had the discus, like I explained in the review of my 406. But to be honest, I won't use it because I don't want to interfere with anything to do with... Um, don't want to interfere with anything to do with the carbon hardness when after that I'm trying to boost it with my coral gravel. Um, but that's basically what I use. Obviously in the summertime I will take the towel off because obviously it will. I would want probably a bit of air in there just to bring the temperature down a smidgy bit but not greatly. Um, I've looked, the reason I'm doing this video is that I've looked on YouTube for some countless times for how to run three external filters and there has been nothing about it so I thought I'd give you guys and anyone else who wants to watch it as they say the opportunity of how to actually do it I mean um, these should fit on majority of tanks if not there is probably some sort of bracket that will probably would fit or you have different type of piping that would fit on there. I mean, I know originally I was thinking of getting the Maidenhead's EFX filters, and they had clear piping. Um, but um, I was originally just going to use the original piping that I had and use all this sort of the system that the Hagen actually use. But you know, for them, I thought the clear piping it's the same thing as my siphon. You get all bits all congested into it and it will look horrible eventually I mean I've had some people's reviews saying oh these pipes are flimsy or whatever and that no they are they exactly do the job what you want it to do the other thing I didn't actually mention when I've done the review was um, I did say about the primer on this it's so much better improved is the aqua stop I've had um, a few problems with these aqua stops and this one on I've got an order to get a new part for it because when I go to shut the valve off I have to explain it on this sort of side on this loop thing I get a little bit of spray of water when I shut it off um, partly might have been one of my problems once where I think I shut this these off when I've done a maintenance bit turned them all back on I was a bit of a rush and I left them running for a few hours, shut off. I know it's my fault, which probably didn't help with it, which is probably what's caused that. But um, I did have a problem before with a similar sort of one, which I changed a year or so ago, which I think was in that one, where it was doing exactly the same. But I know for a fact I did not overrun it with, this, with the aqua stop switched off. But this looks a hell of a lot better system. The screws seem a lot better when you tighten the pipes up um, it feels a lot easier to manoeuvre this handle and obviously I did mention that the, the flow rate is a lot stronger than the O5s it was, like I said, I would rate this probably in the high 90% of a decent filtration and the good thing about them are they're very narrow they fit into cabinets easy um, some of the other ones are big circle sort of ones which I was a little worried about the EFX but I think it would have fitted in even if it was sideways but that is practically 
Yeah, but no, it, they are very good filters. I'm not going to, well, if I touch it, I know if I do any maintenance on that one, but I'm not going to be emptying it, doing anything. Let the biological filtration build up for at least, for say, two months, argument's sake. And then that's why I didn't put any polishing stuff into it, because I just wanted to leave it and run it. Uh, my impellers are still sort of running in, they are, it is pretty quiet, I know it's still got to run in as, um, but like I said before, noise wise that one's actually quieter, which I did have a slight little with it, which is why I changed the impellers on them but I had a media bag split on that, which I had the coal gravel in I changed it and that one started making the noise, but again with the new impellers but all in all I, I don't know noise wise I mean it, when I very first installed it it was quieter but I've changed the impellers of the other ones and it doesn't I mean I know I say it's a bit of a grey area changing the impellers I wouldn't change them yearly maybe every X amount of years as they say because I, I kept them running in there and they were fine for good four years say and one well, was my brother's tank now he's never changed it I listened to his the other day he sounds as quiet as a mouse but no all in all that is how to install three externals run install and run three externals it's not the stress in them the water's just dribbling out I don't want to pull the pipe out so you show you how it's pulling out on the best possible way of running them all at full potential not half mast and um, yeah brilliant I know I've got it looks a bit like spaghetti junction sort of in there I know I might because that one's now all pushed back trim these up a little bit but it's not putting any sort of pressure that I know on it to actually keep these maintained they actually the bloke in there is sort of manager and maiden head, my local maiden head turned around and sort of said no, no I've had a 405 seven years and impeller in there it's as long as you change your media regularly you know you're, you keep your, the water flow running fine in them you lube what you need to lube up you look after the motor and the head as they say clean the impeller monthly argument sake and then re lube it up either with their lubricant which is quite in my opinion quite expensive or if not normal normal Vaseline proponium jelly you know which is obviously the seals which are in here your um, main gasket take that off give it a clean up and re-lube it up the actual impeller cover just around the edging of the impeller cover um, on them one, on the 405s and I guess in the, OC, o, uh, the 05 series, the rubber bit of your impeller shaft came out with it. As I noticed with the 06 series, which I did ask it mainly because I thought oh, I was not coming out, it doesn't come out. So that's the only thing I don't know how else to lube is that really, except for maybe just to, just put a little fine little bit on the actual shaft which is the little uh, stick just so when the impeller spins around on it it's not causing heat and that too much to build up but it's just general maintenance just look after it and like I said these are four years old and I'm done with this one I don't know if you can hear anything I know I've got the pump running it is so quiet I must admit the primer on the new ones, these are a bit more on the flimsy side, looks bad, it, they have made good improvements on them, and this seems a bit more solid, uh, sorry, weaker than this. So all in all, they've done a very good job, with me wrapping up my review of it, but the installation and running is fine, and they've, they've used Chate at all. So if you've got any comments or you want to subscribe, 
please do so. Thank you for watching.